Hi and welcome back. I'm real excited to talk to you about this 2015 F750. I want to talk to you a little bit about what it means when you see this is an IWS spec chassis. Some of the things that we've been doing is listening to towers and working with our Ford dealer to really develop what we feel is the ultimate car carrier chassis and this is the result of that effort. This truck is 26,000 GBW like most other carriers but the difference is are things that you don't quickly see. This truck has a 21,000 pound rear axle instead of a 17.5 that you would normally find on a truck this size. We also upgraded the rear air suspension to 20,000 pounds. This truck also has an upgraded front axle. It's now at 10,000 pounds. We've installed driver operated air locking differential, 22.5 rubber, there's just an awful lot you really need to look deep on to see what sets this truck apart from other trucks that you may see out on the market. Here's one of the first things you'll notice is that we have a master disconnect outside. There's also a positive post right there for battery cables. Now we're gonna move back to the SP8000 side puller. And for those of you who don't know, Idaho Wrecker Sales, we're the people that invented this. As a matter of fact, we are the only company in the world that has the US patent on a side puller. I want to draw your attention here to our Idaho Wrecker Sales custom foot. This thing has options that you won't find anywhere else. This foot on the bottom of the side puller was designed exclusively here. Marty's gonna go ahead and show you a few of the features here on the side puller you know anybody that's owned a side puller that you talk to will always would never order a truck without one after owning it just gives you that peace of mind when you're out in the middle of the night you get a police call you show up on scene you never know if you need a wrecker if you show up with a side puller you're going to get the job done some of the things we've done to make it very handy and user friendly is we've equipped it with a wireless remote. You can operate the winch on the car carrier and the side puller from up to 500 feet away. We've also equipped this truck with the in the ditch toolboxes. Here you can see Marty standing on the door. In the ditch gives these toolboxes a 400 pound load rating on the door. Also notice we've uh, put a full length shelf in it with the dividers. If you don't like where the dividers are, you can move them around and configure the toolbox any way you want it. Also notice it's a single paddle latch, 70 inch toolbox. Now we're gonna move around to the back of the truck. Notice we used LED work lights on the back. The tail light housing where the lights go, that's all powder coated. And then the panel where the lights are mounted is stainless steel. Uh, many of you that live in rough areas where they use a lot of calcium chloride will really appreciate the fact that that's all stainless steel back there. Marty's going to take a moment and show you the releasable L-arms, the Chevron style with the T-pin. They've been using these things for over 20 years. They work fantastic. It's a great design. Another thing to point out is this car carrier has a full 4,000 pound wheel lift. That means that fully extended, this wheel lift will lift 4,000 pounds. You gotta be really careful when you're looking at carriers out there because a lot of them are 4,000 pound, but that's retracted. Now, as we move around to the light bar, this is one of our really proud moments at Idaho Wrecker Sales. We've been developing this light bar now for the past seven years, and it's our own design. We make it in-house. It's a swept wing light bar, and the reason we did it is my years of towing out on the road, and it was always really scary when you loaded a car. There was no lights to the side of the truck, so we made this really wide light bar to get the emergency lighting outboard of the car that you were towing. The people that own these just call us back and say thank you, thank you, and tell us how much they love it. It's got multiple flash patterns, got a built-in arrow stick in it, LED lights. Here, Marty's going to show you the alley lights are fully adjustable and they're full LED. You know, with today's technology, it's just crazy to not be taking advantage of the, the new lights that are out there. We also strobed, our crew created a strobing system to make all the marker lights strobe, and that is on this truck as well. Here, Marty's gonna go ahead and run the bed back, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the underside of the bed. It's hard to tell, but we've relocated the batteries between the frame rails to make room for the side puller. We've also installed the In The Ditch brand box tops. 
and lumber baskets. Here's a nice top shot of the uh, stored fenders where you can put the fuel cans, trash cans, everything inside out of the way. It's also a great place to store tire chains if you need to. Now we're gonna move around to the passenger side of the truck. You can really see the low load angle. One of the things I want you to notice is as you watch the bed slide up, the little things that we do at Ido Wrecker Cells that other people don't. We upgraded this hydraulic pump to 24 gallons a minute over the standard 17 to 18 gallon that other people will do. We feel it's important to minimize the amount of time that you spend out on the side of the freeway. So by putting the larger hydraulic pump on it, we can really get the bed to move a lot faster. And we also have factory approval on what we've done. We're gonna move around to the passenger side in the ditch 70 inch toolbox. This toolbox has a 70 inch shelf. It has a full light package so you can see inside the toolboxes at night. Seems ridiculous that more people don't offer it. Here's the slide in jack bracket from in the ditch. This is something we had a big uh, hand in developing. It's really nice to be able to store your full length floor jack in that way rather than sideways in the toolbox and hurting yourself. Here's the air fitting that we put on the outside of the truck to run air tools and air hoses. Now we're going to move around to the front of the truck and talk a little bit about the engine. This has a Cummins 6.7, it's 300 horsepower, has an engine exhaust brake. We also installed uh, an air brake. The air brake system has an air dryer on it, which is really important if you're out in cold weather, you don't want your air system icing up on you. We recently sold one of these trucks to a guy in Texas and he averaged over 10 miles to the gallon on a brand new truck on his way down there. It's not uncommon to see these Cummins engines getting 12 miles to the gallon plus. Now as we move around to the inside of the cab, it has a full length rear bench seat which is great for extra passengers. We move around to the front, Ford's done a real nice job of making this thing very ergonomic and easy to see. Notice where we put the PTO switch with the light. We put it there for a reason, and that is so you can see it uh, when you start to drive down the road, so you don't drive down the road with your PTO switch on. This truck also has the power link transmitter. This is where you would control your arrow stick left and right. Here's another good shot of the lighted PTO switch that we install in the dash. This truck also has the sync media system with Bluetooth it makes it real easy when you're driving down the road to use your phone. It comes right through the speakers. Just can't say enough good about these Fords and their interiors. I hope you like what you see. If you do, give us a call and stop by and give it a test drive. Thanks for your time.